Hey guys, Chris from the Ultimate Recycler. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to part 31 of the Great Cleanup. Uh, it's currently Thursday. I'm doing videos just about every day at the moment with everything that's going on. I still have my arm in a sling. Uh, it's it's improving, but very slowly. I still can't lift it above my head. Uh, I've got an ultrasound early next week was the earliest I can get in to see what's going on with it. But it is getting better. I'm not taking painkillers during the day, just some to sleep. So part 31, as I speak now, it's Thursday. There are 24 days to go. Uh, there's been some progress, of, like it's only been a couple of days really since uh, since we had our table tennis tournament. Um, and the weather's been shocking. And I, I kind of figure that the universe has been saying, all right, let's hurt your arm a little bit to slow you up outside. Let's give you some cold showery weather because you need to work inside. So we've been doing a lot of work inside. I can still do a fair bit. Christine's been fantastic moving stuff around. Um, my three wonderful daughters are coming tomorrow to help me move some stuff out of the container and that's the purpose of this update video is that i'm going to show you what's up with the container and the good news there is we've sold it i have a local farmer that's been in my yard a few times when i've had sort of an open yard sale type thing and he's bought a bit of uh, building materials off me and there was also another guy that was interested in the container that gave me uh, his card and said ring me if the first guy doesn't take it well, the first guy is pretty keen. He wanted to see what it was like up on top. And uh, as you saw, Dad managed to clean it all up and it's immaculate, really, for considering where it's been sitting for the last 10 years. It's in great nick. So the guy that's that's keen is, is basically said, yes, I'll take it. And he's going to come and pick it up. We've got a local guy with a truck that can move it next week. So I basically said, yep, pencil it in. No, pen it in. It's a definite, it has to go. Uh, we'll empty it. Kristen and I are going to start today uh, just getting a few things out and kind of organising it. And then my girls will be here tomorrow. We'll move a heap of stuff and uh, then it'll be right to go. So let me show you what this bloke's done who's going to buy it. It's excellent that it was done, uh, a local farmer who I know and uh, he has, um, well, you can see behind me. Hang on, I'll turn the camera around. He has a farm just out the road, he has a chainsaw, he has a trailer, he's trimmed all the branches back for me and he's taken the branches out to his farm because it's just easy for him to dump them in a pile out there. It's not really my responsibility because it's actually a neighbour's tree, but it's so good to have it cleaned up. Access now is excellent for a truck to come and pick the container up. Uh, they can basically just back down the lane with a tipper and winch it up. Um, so how good's that that not only is this guy going to take it he recognizes that two and a half is a very good price for a good solid container but um you know he's not only going to do that and give me the cash but he's cleaned up he's actually going to come back and remove the last of the branches for me uh, and that's really really helpful so the container will be going end of next week uh this video we won't touch on what we're dragging out but i'll do another video probably tomorrow very, i'll just keep them coming quick fire and uh, you'll be able to see more of what's in the container. But that's the big news for this video, is that the container is sold. I'll be able to dismantle that lean-to. Uh, there's certainly some more space being created here, uh, getting very organised. So let's do another wander through the yard. It's becoming almost a bit traditional. We'll wander through the yard and uh, show you what we've been up to. Coco again has found one of her balls, and she's getting quite good at hurdling that puddle. Well, aborted run. Oh, she's got a glove, not a ball. What a crazy dog. <laughs> okay, so now when you hear my videos and you hear all this snorting and, and laboured breathing, you know it's not me, it's Coco right next to me. So, again, I haven't done anything out here. The weather's been atrocious for anything I've been doing outside. I have got a lady coming tomorrow to look at the plant stand over there that I made out of bed frames and I'm going to offer her all the compost bins um, and maybe even this little uh, glass house thing with no roof um, for free because you know she runs a little um, well she's on a property and she I think she grows um, flowers for sale and she's got a bit of a kind of nursery out there so she might find it all useful that's the plant stand hopefully she'll take so let's have a look inside. Oh, hang on, I'll just turn the radio off first. Okay, it's probably not going to look a lot different, but I have sorted lots out. Um, and a lot of the, all, all the table in the middle is gone. We've got rid of a cabinet. All that single pile of boxes there will be going home to my new shed extension, which you would have seen in the last video. So this room will empty out very quickly now. I think I've broken its back. 
I have also, if I pan around here, I've taken all the shelves down, I've taken the extra fluoro lights down, uh, that single fluoro I will be taking, but basically the back half of the house, well, the house area is pretty well under control, I don't think it will take long to tidy it up, uh, and I'll show you in Christine's uh, shop next door where we have a storeroom and what we've been doing in there. So this is a storeroom out of the back of Christine's shop that we've basically moved a lot of our shelves and things in and set up bays for storage. We have to be super efficient with our space. Uh, Christine had a lot of fabric and stuff, which she still has, but it's had to be condensed into shelving. Uh, and we're really going to kind of miss the kitchen next door. This is really all we've got. It's just a bit of a corner. We are getting the plumber to put a, a another hot water service thing there because that one's not working. The roof leaks quite badly here, so perhaps we can get the landlord to fix that up. Um, so yeah, not much of a kitchen space. Buckets of water, it rained yesterday. Um, I could probably do a bit of maintenance myself once all my pressing jobs next door are done. So the important thing is now is to just get in here and actually make it at least uh, so we can function. It's not going to be very organised for a while. You can see we've got all these shelves. A lot of these came out of my shop and there's others that were in here that we've just rejigged and set up little aisles. And around this side here, I'm starting a big stack of milk crates. That cupboard there is absolutely full of old car manuals I bought years ago that will probably be some good eBay fodder for me. Uh, more shelving here, pretty well right to the roof. Uh, and this corner, I'm going to try and set up a little bit of a testing station for my electronics. Uh, most, all the repair stuff will go home, but I need somewhere to test things. Uh, Christine's rolls of fabric that she creates amazing things with uh, are shoved in that corner for now. It's going to be rather frustrating for a little while. There's the fridge as well and the microwave. Uh, it's going to be pretty frustrating for a while and there's just no room at all. This room is another storage room that I had um, and there's not much room in there and it's it, it's it was pretty well packed before we started this whole adventure so it doesn't afford us much extra room. So that's what we're doing with all our stuff. As you can see, um, the masses amount I've got next door just simply can't fit in here. There will have to be a fair bit go home in the short term and we will... Once our, our D-Day has passed, we will process it as quickly as possible because next door, uh, sorry, home is not going to end up a cluttered business storage area, as Christine will tell you. And I'm happy to tell you, I don't want that to happen. Now, Christine's over here. Let's just have a bit of a peek and say hi. She's doing some sewing or something. Good morning, Christine. Hello. Um, what are you working on? I'm working on responding to my YouTube comments oh well, there you go <laughs> and that's the thing guys we do like to um respond to all your comments we appreciate everyone's feedback uh even just your thumbs up but we will read every comment and we certainly try to reply to them all um so yeah all right here's how it's looking in here haven't got any more ladders in here yet but we do plan to move some in it's going to be a bit difficult with my shoulder but i think steve my son's going to come and give us a hand at some stage but uh, yeah, Christine's shop's still looking very good. It's still quite operational. People do like fussicking around, even if we haven't put everything on shelves. So we can still keep, keep the wheels of industry turning. One thing I can't do with my crook arm is tear up cardboard boxes or cut them up with a knife. I don't have any coordination in my left arm. Uh, and it's just, uh, the risk is that I, if I try to tear them up, I'm gonna hurt my arm more. So I was going to get Christine to cut them up for me, but look, Coco's making a start. Thanks, Coco. Tear them up. Go for it. It's hard to find good workers when you need them. I turn my back and she's off for a nap. Uh, all right, let's wind this video up. I'll keep it fairly short. You can see this lounge area now. I've been working here today. I've made quite a lot of... Whoops, I just tried on a power cord. I've made quite a lot of uh, progress in here. So I'll keep going on here today, although Christine and I are going to start getting some stuff out of the shipping container and that will be the next video um, and then as I mentioned I think my girls are coming tomorrow so the next episode of the great cleanup will focus on what we can drag out of the container and we'll take it home to our shed there just checking on Coco's productivity looks like she knocked off as soon as I went and did something else so all right well she started on one box Christine I'll have to do the rest so thanks for watching again guys um, 
as I conclude this video and realize that I'm probably not going to post it till tomorrow, there will be 23 days to go. Um, so, yes, just over three weeks. Um, I still hold out hope. I've, I, I believe it'll work out. What more can you do? I think if you have belief, it just helps. So thank you for watching. Uh, next episode will be coming out quick smart and we'll be dragging things out of the container because I've put myself under pressure by saying it's going to be empty early next week. Um, so we're going to be doing that. You'll see that probably in a day or two. So thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye for now.